Greetings, YouTube. Ah, comic book guy here. In the vault of comics. Checking out the really cool comics. Hey, these comics you're looking at here, they're all based on classic old television shows. Kind of my favorites. They roll along the top of the wall. They're the dark shadows. And then I go into my horror. And this is only half the walls you're seeing. I've got a lot more. A lot more. Is that not cool? Hey, check out them, some of my favorites, the Night Stalker comics. I haven't reviewed them yet. If you check out my other channel, the Daddy Dan blog, you can see me review every comic book on these walls, pretty much. Up to right here. I haven't reviewed but one Star Trek one. But I have a Star Trek collection you wouldn't believe a lot of old gold keys from back in the day hanging up on this wall including number one i love showing that one it's one of my favorites but we're not here today to talk about star trek or space comics we're here today look at cowboys so we better get started i really wonder if this is what my friend dave would call the good stuff. And while we're talking about other channels, let me give a special shout out to my friend Thrash Pondo Ponds. I was talking to Ponds earlier on a text, and he's the one suggested I take a look at these cowboy books that I picked up today. Today I went to Planet Comics in Anderson, South Carolina. And while I was at Planet Comics in Anderson, South Carolina, I picked up a massive amount of Western comic books. Now, one or two of the comics you're going to see I already had in here, but I added them all to a pile, and this is mostly my Western collection. I do have a Lone Ranger and a Davy Crockett and a couple of more Western comics on the other wall, but we won't be getting to them probably today. We'll be showing you what's not on the wall, what nobody's ever seen before. These are comic books I've never showed nobody. Some of them I just got today. So let's have a look. Number one, The Lone Ranger, because The Lone Ranger is cool. It's based on an old TV show, and I can't wait to review it one day. But you can't have The Lone Ranger without Tonto. You know, in my whole life, I only had this one, the one Tonto comic book. That's right. And I thought it was special because I had a Tonto comic book. But today when I was in the store, I saw more Tonto comic books. That's right. And they're just, to me, so rare that I actually have more Tonto comic books than I do Lone Ranger comic books because I've only got two Lone Ranger comics, the one on the wall and the one I showed you. But I have a good selection of Tonto. Hey, check out the Indian Chief while we're on the Native Americans. How you like that name, Indian Chief? Yeah, this is a real old comic series from the... 1950s. It's based on White Eagle, a famous Native American. Native American. I don't say Indian chief. Native American chief White Eagle's famous comic book series. I have quite a few of them. It ran for about 30 years. Most of the ones I have are from the 50s. As you can see, I love the old 10 cent covers on these very rare and classic comic books. And you can't have Long Ranger comics unless you got some silver. Because I love horses. And these are really cool horses. These are silver comics. I owe silver away. Look, you got a little boo-boo bear riding on his back in that there. I owe silver away. Long Ranger comic book. It's the Long Ranger's horse, Silver, having his own adventures without the Long Ranger, I suppose. Well, that'll be interesting to review. And, of course, I had to throw the bonanzas in there. Now, these bonanzas I'm showing you, Lauren Green. Uh, now, these classic old bonanzas, I already had these four. I just added them to the Cowboy series because I like to keep all my Cowboys together for when I box them up. And check out that Zorro with the uh, Nathuna Cello. I already had that one, too. And this Red Rider, I already had that comic book as well. It was from my earlier collection, much like the Cisco Kid here. But I did have Long Ranger, the, the Texas Rangers too. But Roy Rogers here. I've been looking for some Roy Rogers, and I finally got me some Roy Rogers. And of course, you can't have Roy Rogers unless you got Dale Evans. That's right, Dale Evans, Queen of the West. I bet I should get a comic book about her horse, because you know I got one about Roy Rogers' horse. That's right, I got a trigger. I got me a trigger comic book. Anybody ever even saw a Trigger comic book? Well, I got two. 
That's right. Two Trigger comic books based on Roy Rogers' horse Trigger from back in the day. Comic books from my youth. And check out this. This is Champion. That's Gene Autry's horse because, of course, that comic, by, that comic book guy loves some horses. And you can't have his horse without having him. Look, Gene Autry and his horse Champion. And Champion actually gets a byline on the cover because she was an imported horse. And you got this here Canadian Royal King Mallet thing. That's pretty cool, huh? I guess for my Canadian fans get a check, I got a Royal Canadian Hero comic book. Put out by Dell, most of these are. And, of course, I'm going to finish off with the Rex Island. Hey, let me do some honorable mentions. Honorable mention number one is when you have so many comic books, you buy two copies of the same one. And I wound up with two Indian Chiefs. I guess my cool-ass brother-in-law, the captain, will get one of these bad boys. He loves the Westerns, too. Here's some other comic books like the Indian Chief. Another Tonto I didn't show you earlier, and a Turok, Son of Stone. That's pretty cool, right? I picked these up to two today, but I'll be giving these away because they've got some, as I guess you can see it, they got some writing on them or one or two little errors that I don't like. And some comics I just give away because I really don't like certain things or they got them. I don't like to keep them when they've been right on the cover or they're damaged on the covers because I mainly keep the covers of comics. So these will be given away. I'll do a giveaway. Hey, if you're interested in these comic books, let me know in the comments below or uh, write me at Post Office Box 144, West Pelzer, South Carolina, 296, uh, freak it, 29669. I'll put it in the description. And if you're interested, send me a letter or maybe I'll send you a comic. And here's another comic I picked up. It's the number three. It's the Lone Ranger's Golden West. Now, this is a super giant, thick, 100-page comic book of Lone Ranger action that I have no idea, that, no intention, and no idea I'll ever review. But it's a little something I picked up because it was on sale. It'll be another one I'll probably give away. And let's finish off with me showing you this other magazine I picked up. It's not really a comic book, though. It's called Wildest Westerns. It's a 35 cent comic book from 1961, January 1961, number four. And I really, really like this one. It covers all the really cool old West stuff with lots of pictures. All the Western action that was going on back in 1961. Hey, it's even got something about heroes. And their horses. You know, I just bought some Heroes Horses comics. Well, anyway, this is Danny Staten, the Fat Comic Book Guy, here on my channel, the Fat Comic Book Guy, showing you some really cool cowboy comics. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I'll put the address in the description. Drop me a letter with your address. Send me something cool, and I'll send you... A really cool comic book when I go through them. I got about 50 Superman comics. Real rare old ones I'm going to be giving away pretty soon, too. Till next time, blog over.